I'm Charles Adiemi, and for the sake of emphasis, I'm Charles Adiwale Adiemi. We came up with the Charleston Foundation for Youth Development because we see that uh, government alone cannot do this work. And when we talk about doing this work, we've seen several policy statements of government. We've seen what is happening on the streets. We've seen uh, a lot of our youths out there with some level of intentions, but with no technical know-how to get it done. So we said, okay, let's come up with an organization that will take care of that aspect of human capital development, training youth on some uh, areas of interest in life. I'm going to use key points in secondary school. I'm going to use key points. Wow. It's like, I don't know what Charles Adiemi is a very good we have the mind of introducing to young people what vision is all about, what goals is all about, what future could be if we are willing to work for it. So we are not here to give key points, but we are here to give the practical way that you can achieve what you want to achieve. So no, as young people, I think it's important that we continue to speak this image, and this is the same line at which uh, my boss, the director general of the Nigerian Balaji, has always gone. Um, he feels it's very important that we continue to set a positive narrative for the country. And if we continue to set a positive narrative for the country, we'll be able to drive in investors, we'll be able to drive in believability in the country, and that will help us have the prosperity in the country. So I think it's important that we continue to, as young people, tell our stories the way we can, because everybody now has a platform for himself. It's just what you say with the platform. So we are encouraging that set a positive narrative for the country, and the country will get better by the grace of God. 2017, I became the first female youth leader in Pachinoma. If you see how that election went, it was as if I was running for government seats. It was so tough. And what I heard of the people say, are uh, girls youths. Because they usually think anywhere they call you, it's only young men that is here. When I contested for that election, it was so tough. And no one at that stage was challenging me for saying I can't do the job. They were only challenging my gender. Looking at me, I'll be a president of this country one day. And I strongly believe women and girls have the capacity to be leaders, not because of their gender, but because they have the competency, they have the intelligence, and also the know-how to bring about solutions. You know, when we talk about leadership, we're not saying we just want to have women in the room. Why do you want to have the women? We want to have the women because we want to have different perspectives to solving our problems. The strength of every nation lies in the youth. And what that means, the youth are the ones who are supposed to take that and break steps in bringing things to bear. Not for them alone, but for future generations. Youth must take that decisive step to know that what they are doing now might not be of immediate benefit, but of the greater benefits that are coming tomorrow. What makes you youth is doing those things that others before you could not do better. It means correcting those lapses, those errors, those mistakes that others have made. Correcting it with genuine intention, with practical inclination to patriotism. And once that can be done, then our nation will be better for it. I'm here today to represent the Honorable Minister of Youth Development, Comrade Ayodele Olawande. The, the theme for the event is for us to galvanize young people, to reorientate the young people, to let them realize their expectation as a young Nigerian and uh, the role they are to play in the growth and the development of this country. And it is our mandate as the Minister of Youth Development, under the leadership of the Minister of Youth Development, Comrade Ayodele Olawande, to continue to energize, to continue to give hope, and to continue to encourage our young people to be steadfast, to be committed, and to be resilient towards the growth and development of this country. Well, one of the, one of the things that needs to be done is what is happening today. You, know, you need to do these kinds of um, training, sensitization, awareness of young people, bring them in, educate them about what democracy is, help them understand what their role is, should be in building Nigeria's democracy, 
you know, and work with them, you know, uh, engage them continuously to walk into those shoes, you know, and do what it is that they need to do, whether it's to register to vote, whether it's to join uh, part of the people who are sensitizing others, peer-to-peer -peer sensitization, etc., etc. So by the time all of these institutions you know, are doing their work, you know, uh, engaging young people actively, I think we will make progress. Uh, a, a lot more progress in 2027 compared, you know, to the progress that was made uh, in 2023. The youths have to be part and parcel of the party foundation first, and to determine a structure that can drive their participation. The youth's involvement in this governance and democracy cannot be limited to people getting up appointments in different ramifications. There needs to be a youth movement that will drive the manifestos of our party. They have to be very significant and prominent in terms of societal agitation, the wants of this generation and interests of this generation. So if, they, if a platform can come up where the youth can be drivers of policies, of governance, it will help them to play a role in this present democracy. And this is why we put up lead future leaders conference, so that from now, we'll be catching them young. And those who we put together are from the ages of 15 to 18 to 25 to 35. People that would know that by next election, they are supposed to be politically active. And we hope to achieve this through general support of different national and international state and non-state organizations. So if we're able to do this, and of course, collaborations with several government agencies, and government parastatas, ministries, departments, you know, we aim to be able to work with them at, at different levels. And, and I think this is all we can do. Education is very important. And by education, I'm not just talking about university or polytechnic as we have it now. I mean, impartation of knowledge on people and instructing them to use it, you know, in a way that it will make sense for not just themselves, but for the, for the country.